um, Michael Venom Page's a training partner that I found out recently is actually KSI. And uh, KSI also released some news today that, well, he released this news before that he's fighting two people in one night, which I think it's fucking crazy. But he he changed one of the pro fighters. And let me show you guys who he's fighting. I don't even know if you guys, did you guys see the new fighter? No, I did not. No, I didn't. So it's this guy. So he's going to fight Swarms, and then he's going to fight this guy, Pineda. And, uh, if, uh, like, I severely doubt that you guys are aware of who this guy is. But doesn't he it's seem like you. doesn't he seem like a skinny dude? Uh, kind of. Yeah, I guess I could, of, yeah. I could see what you mean from his face and, like, his neck, like, his traps. You don't really see a lot of, not too much definitions in this trap to be rounded out, to be very muscly, very built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, okay, here, uh, this guy, Aga Noor, right? He actually found out his record. His record is two and five. So two wins and then got knocked out four times. Okay. Um, his division is super Walter Way. And he's actually suspended by the Ontario Athletic Commission, which is interesting. And yeah, but you know what? Um, he, it's, he's still a professional boxer. KSI does not have to do two fights in one night. So I'm, I'm still going to give him his respects, and I think that's a good fight, you know? I mean, yeah, you got to like two, two fights in one night. Yo, come on. That's insane. Regardless of who you're fighting, you just got to tip your hat to that. Yeah, and yeah, honestly, like as Bissa says, two fights in one night, you know, you don't really, you don't see that happen, right? Like, you don't see two fights, uh, the, a fighter fight two people, and especially like after KSI, like, really got a lot of hate from his fans about him fighting swarms. And, I'll, you know, you can just see his Reddit video where KSI even admit that he, he took an L. But uh, the fact that like he he's he's he he really he really listens to his fans like he really takes in what his fans says and his fans say and always tries to put on the best product for his fans and here he is you know he took this fight that people don't want to see and turned into a fight that now people want to see and people are like you know what you know what JJ you took a dub there you took a dub there two fights in one night is definitely something that not a lot of people in the world have ever done. And especially to see that from KSI, like we really get to see where his levels at now. Yeah, no, I agree. I I think he's a trendsetter. I think uh, he turned a fat fucking L into a W. Um, Alex Wasabi. First of all, over here on No Limits, we didn't even want to see the Alex Wasabi fight. <laughs> then yeah. the Swarms fight came, and we really didn't want to see that. And he managed to turn it into a positive because now we're seeing something that's never been done before. I know George Foreman fought four people in one night, but I'm talking about never been done before in recent memory and especially not in YouTube boxing. So it's cool. And it's, and it's helps him get rid of the ring rust twice, I guess. And just like, just seeing like mentally, like, yo, you just won your first fight. Cause let's be honest, he's going to fuck up swarms. Then now he's going to be in the locker room. He just has to prepare for another fight. That's, I don't know. That's really cool. I want to see how that. Yeah, that's out. insane. I wonder how that's going to play down. Yeah, it's going to be dope. Yeah, but yeah, absolutely no hate to that fight. I know over here for some reason we're per we're perceived as KSI haters, but we just keep it real. That's what we do. <laughs> but yeah.